How's it going, viewers? Today, I'm going to be playing Operate Now Appendix Surgery. Because who doesn't want to play this game? Warning, do not try this at home. You probably shouldn't. Beautiful music on. Meet Tara. Tara was brought to the hospital because of a severe stomach ache. She may have appendicitis, when, which is possibly a life, possibly life-threatening condition. You need to examine her, and depending on your diagnosis, we may need to take her to the operating room. All right. Mom, stay out there. Don't come in yet. We will first check if the patient is experiencing pain due to inflammation on the appendix or appendicitis, as it is called. What kind of game is this? Oh. I guess I touch our belly button. This is a t What kind of game is this? It's somewhere over here. I know that. There we go. She definitely seems to be in a lot of pain. This is a possible sign of appendicitis. Let's get, go do a blood test to confirm. Oh, my last part's over. Okay, first pick up the target. Okay. Do I not do anything? I'm gonna step smack that vein. Great. The vein is clearly visible. Let's disinfect the area now. First select the tongs. We need a cotton ball. We need some of this brown stuff. Do it all of it. Oh, come on. We need a needle. We need to insert it into the arm and bleed it out. We need to bleed. Uh, we need to take this blood for Dracula. He is low on his quota this this week. He needs more blood on his on his in his mouth to li be living. If there is an increase in white blood cells, it might be an indication that there is a dangerous inflammation in the body. Oh. I guess it's too high. Well, I mean, there are some coming in. I agree, Dr. The Abno If you know if all these things, why don't you do this? Why are you asking me to do these weird things? Like touching girls. That's just wrong. I don't know her. Let's start the surgery. Please get the scalpel. This is gonna. I'd like to warn all viewers. This is gonna get pretty disgusting soon. So if you're faint of heart, then you should leave. Retractors. We need to. We need to pull it apart. We're gonna pull her. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. We're opening up her heart to make her love us. The genie says that uh, you can't do it, but you can make them love you with wishes. I, I'm. This is me. My, this is my wish. I am going to wish that she loves me, and I know it will come true. Oh no, she's bleeding. We have to soak up with the blood. Dracula needs to make her quota, little girl. I'm sorry. Now, I pick up the car catarizer. Okay, I'm gonna want to burn this. Yeah, we burned it. The breathing has stopped. Grab the scalpel so we can continue the surgery. Alright. Just, you know, stab it. No big deal. Grab the scissors. I mean, no big deal. We're just gonna, you know, cut, cut her open. It doesn't matter. What do you do now? Oh. You have to. Uh. Yeah, well, it doesn't look too bad. It's like muscle, right? Please pick up the scissors. Just gonna, you know, cut up the muscle. No big deal. No big deal at all. The muscle layer has successfully been opened. Grab another pair of retractors. Come on. This is nasty. This is seriously how it is. You're just constantly re pulling their meat apart. <laughs> you need to be extra careful when cutting the next layer. Direct under the lie intestines. If not carefully cut, you could puncture the patient's bowels. Oops. Uh, tweez. What does it say? What do I do? Tweezers. What? What went with the tweezers? Those are what? Another pair of tweezers, doctor. Now take the scissors and cut a small in small cut. 
that's not how scissors work. I'm just gonna put my finger in there. Let's put my fingers in. Excellent work, Doctor. Now I can put out the appendix. Beautiful. That's just what I wanted to do. Yeah, let's just get the appendix out there. I'm gonna poke it. Poke the appendix. Oh, I'm just, I'm just pulling out the whole thing. Great work, Doctor. This the appendix is this weird thingy. Um, what do we need? Just gonna just pierce the the thing. That's all that matters. We don't know. I will hold while you take scissors. What are we doing? A pair of scissors. Okay. So we're just gonna you know cut that off. No big. Who cares? Whatever. You know. A needle? Why do we need it? Oh, I guess we saw it start sewing beforehand. This is not that gross, actually. This is actually beautiful, even. What do we get now? A scalpel? You know, whatever. Just cut the whole thing off, you know? No big deal. And then we'll sew it out the rest of the way. This is like... No big deal. I could do this in a heartbeat. That wouldn't... This would be easy for me. This is basically easy. Now, just gotta have the scalpel off. Now we need a band aid. Why well, can't we just burn her to be lifing? Tourniquet. What? That didn't make any sense. All right, whatever. Don't try that at home. Get a nice, pretty girl and just tap her toe. She's hurting. All right, let's see. Let's get this done quickly. Yes, yeah, stupid tourniquet. Just tap hit that. Hit that thing. Hit it. What the heck? You're stupid. I don't care. Come on. There we go. Now we. You know, I don't even care. Even let's just. Stab that thing in there. Just take that blood. I don't even care. Just get that blood already. Come on. I don't have all day. I just want to finish healing. The Wait, if I failed the surgery, how is she here again? You stupid. What is it? Let me guess. It's too high. <gasps> what? How did I do that? I am too. I'm too smart. I am too smart. Too smart. I'm sorry, Mama. I'm too smart. It's the way things I have to be. Better just cut that open. Just cut it open. Oh no. Oh no. She's bleeding. Dracula, help us. Help us, Drac. You need to help us. This is actually really easy when you know what you're doing. Scalper. Just cut it open again. No, no, no big deal. Just cut it open, even. Take those off. I mean, it's like it doesn't even matter. Just, you know, pull that open. <laughs> I no, no problem. No problem. Scissors. Those are scissors. They're, I was, I was demonstrated that they're all basically scissors. I was told. That's what they told me. And as I'm gonna listen to what they told me. They told me they were scissors. Come on, I did it all the way, you. You're broken, lady. You are broken. What? Tweezers? So we can lift what, huh? Oh, stupid. This is, this is stupid. Tweezers. Oh, okay. That just do the tweezers already. You know, I don't even care. Why would I care? I'm only the doctor. I know what I, what? Why are you telling me what to do and then saying it's wrong? When I can do it my way. Look, okay, just because I know you want to help, but you're not a doctor. You don't know what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? You don't know that. You don't think she, she, she doesn't know what she's doing. She doesn't know what she's doing. And I can't do anything about it, but I mean, just seriously, dude. Just let me do my doctor work, even. Let me do my doctor work. You know what I'm saying? I mean, seriously, let me do my doctor work. Uh, 
Let me do what I know what to do. Like, cut off this appendix. I mean, I know what I'm doing. She's not even bleeding. I'm doing all these things, and there's no blood at all. Except that little blood that you made me there. You, you, you probably did that. You probably staged me trying to make me look like a fool. But I, I, I beat you. I don't. I can't look like a fool. Not with you. Not with that one. If I, I only look like a fool when I want to. Needle. Well, why didn't it say that last time? And why is the needle so much bigger? It's all like it needs to be bigger. Whatever. Shouldn't we burn it closed? Just kidding. Brilliant. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.